वेलकम टू गुरु डीज म्यूजिकल मेडिटेशन वी फाइंड आर्ट यूजिंग द मैजिकल स्वीटी बॉक्स स्वीटी बॉक्स इज ए बेलो इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड इट थम्स एयर थ्रू मेडल रीड्स स्वीटी मीन्स मदर थोम एंड इट एक्चुअली क्रिएट्स लाइक अ फंडामेंटल लाइक बेस म्यूजिकल स्ट्रक्चर दट यू कैन बिल्ड ऑफ विच आई फाइंड वर्क ग्रेट फॉर what i want to share with you today which i'm super excited about all the time which i keep associating as nervousness but it's actually a lot of passion throat singing overtoning toning just letting the structure of my spirit come out through my voice so enjoy a little sample and some different things I do
is to get out of the logical mind. So the logical mind wants to go from point A to point B to point C and so on. It wants to label things, it wants to put them in the box so that it understands them. And the purpose of the logical mind, in the way attached to the ego, is so that when it says, oh, I understand what these things are, then it solidifies its understanding of who you think you are. So when so listening to a meditative quality of a repetitive motion, non-linear music, very interesting tones, it gives your, your body the language that it knows through words, but without an inter interpretation of the labels. And so in itself, those sounds, sounds actually help you transcend or almost leave the ego for a little bit, right? It, it leaves this self over here. Now when you can get past that self as an experiment, okay, I'm gonna study these sensations flowing through me. What does this mean? What does it feel like? And then you, and you start to find certain things in you, right? This can be a very physical feeling, it can be very, a mental image, this deep emotion coming out through you. But when you start to discover this, it is of itself outside of the ego. When it comes up, it's an experience. This experience is real, which almost in itself has been suppressed by the self who says, I know what's going on. But that self-structure is built around protecting these things from coming up. Now, as these things start to come up, and you can start to experience them with an observant eye, with the breath, with the uh, intention, intention huge, intention of letting the heart approach these things, then they become this realistic you. And that you, this experiential you, gets to experience the depths of your sorrows, the heights of your joys, the, the purpose in your experience of being you, and in a way, allowing yourself to find your gifts through those things, all the things, pain, joy, so that you can then approach the self, you can bring the self back with the solidity of openness, of truth, rather than based on these labels of words and structures, and table, couch, floor, um, which are all great, but get in the way from you understanding this truth, which is without a label, which is your heart, which is expansion, which is fucking beautiful. Thank you.